Lettuce is a mainstay in the American diet. Fresh salads, sandwich ingredients, and even in cook dishes. We are blessed in Zone 6 to get a solid three seasons with our lettuce crops. In fact, I have grown lettuce outside from March to December in Zone 6B. This video is all about growing great lettuce. Fun fact, lettuce is part of the daisy family. There are several different types of lettuce. It's important to learn about the different types because they have different growing needs and will perform slightly differently. Butterhead, also called Boston or bib lettuce, forms a loose head and is a mix of head lettuce and leaf. It has a sweet flavor with a crunchy texture. They are often slower to bolt and many cultivars do well in summer. They take 65 to 80 days to mature. Nancy is my favorite butterhead variety. Another one, Winter Marvel, is great for cool weather and does well in the greenhouse fall and winter. I love leaf lettuce. I think we should vote now and make leaf lettuce a food group. Leaf lettuce is easy to grow. Typically, it takes 40 to 50 days till maturity, but you can start harvesting at 21 days. Mild flavor comes in a variety of textures and leaf shapes. It's quite fun to grow several varieties and mix them together in a salad. Leaf lettuce adapts well to a variety of conditions. It is referred to as cut and come again lettuce because you can harvest single leaves and more will keep growing. I have several favorites, but I think the most fun is the leaf lettuce mixes. Johnny ha Johnny's has a great one and so does Burpee's. They mix a variety of cultivars and you plant a short row every week throughout the season and you are all set for summer salads. Black Seeded Simpson and Red Sales are two individual varieties I always grow as well. Romaine or cause lettuce grows compact and tall upright heads. The variety is often found in Caesar salad and was first grown in the Mediterranean region 5,000 years ago. The longest to mature at about 80 days, it's best to start indoors and transplant. Varieties will differ on heat variety, so read the descriptions. Jericho is my favorite romaine. It tolerates heat pretty well and matures in just two months. Iceberg lettuce is just gross. Leave it to commercial farmers. It's harder to grow and it contains very little nutrients compared to other lettuces. I do a mix of planting lettuce seeds right out in the garden and seeding it in the grow room. Lettuce is a great succession crop, so put a bit of thought and time your plantings. Plant every two weeks right up to September, October. That way you have a constant supply. I start seeds inside around March 1st because I'm impatient to get started. Lettuce actually likes a cool starting temperature, unlike many garden species. I am also monitoring the greenhouse night temps and will direct seed in a greenhouse in mid-March. Lettuce seed is kind of small, so you can opt to buy coated seed. It's easier to handle, but it is a bit pricier. For planting in pots or trays, use a light seedling soil with peat moss and perlite mixed in. Plant very shallow, about a fourth of an inch deep. I typically make a small indentation with the eraser side of a pencil, place the seed in the indentation and sprinkle some soil on top. Lettuce likes bottom water, so I will set the seed tray with holes and a larger tray without holes and let it soak up water. No fertilizer is needed at this stage. I begin to direct seed outdoors in early to mid-April, depending on weather patterns. Lettuce seedlings can handle a light frost if you have them covered with garden fabric. The minimum soil temperature should be about 40 degrees, and you can help that along by applying some black landscaping fabric in late March. 
Once your nighttime temperatures start to moderate, you can plant outside under cover. I like to start leaf lettuce seeds in a raised bed with some onion sets, spinach, and arugula to make a nice salad. Plant lettuce anywhere from 4 to 10 inches apart. Leaf lettuces can be planted closer and butter crisp need more room. Urban Growers Lettuce is the Crop for You. Lettuce does great in containers, grow bags, and raised beds. You can grow three leaf lettuces in a four-gallon grow bag. If you're growing them in a plant or a raised bed, make sure it's at least seven inches deep. Then stagger leaf lettuce four inches apart or heading lettuce eight inches apart. Lettuce does very well in using the square foot garden method. Another advantage of growing lettuce in containers is that you can grow a variety of types in the same container. Get lettuce off to a good start by having light, well-tilled soil or a potting mix. Add in plenty of compost and a bit of calcium. I do fertilize lettuce because it grows quickly. I personally use the Alaska brand of fish emulsion, which I will link in the description. I give a half strength dose during transplanting or when they are about four inches tall. I fertilize leaf lettuce after I've harvested to help it recover and romaine lettuce about a week before harvesting. There are pros and cons to mulching lettuce. You will have to think about what's most beneficial for you. The pros are that it helps keep the soil moist and keep soil temperatures cooler. The cons are that straw mulch makes a nice environment for bugs, slugs, and snails, all of which want to munch on your lettuce. A wood chip mulch is less desirable to some pests, but will make your soil more acidic over time. Landscaping fabric works well with lettuce in spring and fall, but it can retain too much heat for summer crops. Think outside the box when growing lettuce. A nice raised bed of lettuce under a tree that gets filtered sunlight will often be quite happy in summer. Weeds can outcompete lettuce quickly, so weed your lettuce bed frequently. However, you want to be careful weeding lettuce because one, the lettuce may look like a weed, and two, you can disrupt the lettuce's roots when pulling up weeds. So make sure you give your bed a good weeding before you plant. Lettuce likes moist soil and has shallow roots. This means frequent watering, especially in summer. However, overhead watering is a no-no because lettuce is prone to fungal issues, especially in zone 6B. Use drip irrigation or water carefully at the ground level. What you don't want is any soil splashing onto the undersides of the lettuce leaves. Lettuce is a great crop for extending the season. Cover it with garden fabric when nights drop below 40. Cover it with shade cloth when days go above 75. Use a cold frame for late fall or early spring plantings. Just remember to prop them open on sunny days, even in winter. Lettuce does have a lot of pests that want to eat it. Chives and other alums are good companions for lettuce. Slugs and snails can do a lot of damage to crops. Putting collars around your plants can help deter some of them. Some species will just burrow under. I use sluggo, which is an organic pesticide and safe around pets. Chickens love to gobble up slugs and snails, but don't let them around your lettuce plants because they, will, they also like to gobble up lettuce. Have them till in early spring before planting crops and eat all those overwintering bugs. In the fall, I spread manure in garden areas and let the chickens have at it. Check out my composting video to see how I put them to work. So this cutie, or a wild version of him, may be a real pest in a lettuce patch. Fencing is a cure for this. Another is to have tall raised beds. Typically barricades over two and a half feet work well. 
Bacterial diseases are common in lettuce and will cause brown areas on the leaves. Lettuce mosaic causes a yellowing of the leaves. Keep a clean garden area and remove infected plants. Look for resistant varieties if this is a problem in your area. Think lettuce is boring? I have discovered so many fun ways to eat lettuce. My daughter-in-law, who has celiac disease, has introduced me to lettuce wraps. Just substitute lettuce for the bread. I tried to get out of my salad rut by experimenting with adding lettuce in different ways. For instance, with an omelet or in a Buddha bowl. Lettuce is a wonderful diverse crop and totally fun to grow. If you are getting ready for spring or fall gardening, you should check out my video on planting peas next. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on organic gardening and wildlife conservation. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.